This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, everyone knows that Spirit Airlines has filed for bankruptcy. But you know what the executives did prior to that bankruptcy filing? They paid themselves $5.4 million in retention bonuses, okay? And for those who don't know what that means, that means that these guys are being paid to stay on with spirit during the bankruptcy proceedings. Now tell me how crazy this is. The guys that actually mismanaged it, more than likely, paid themselves to stay on during the bankruptcy. So they're getting a bonus for their mal, I'm not gonna say malfeasance, but for their bad business decisions. It is absolutely crazy that stockholders have lost a majority of their money, but the executives get a $5.4 million bonus. So they ran it into the ground and then they get a bonus to hang out with spirit until after the bankruptcy is over it is absolutely crazy to me but this is what a lot of these executives do they mismanage companies and they always get a golden parachute and they leave the shareholders holding the bag i still have a small tiny spirit position because I did not like how the company was going. You guys know I use Spirit all the time. I think it's a very inexpensive airline to use, but I believe that the guys who mismanage the company should not be getting bonuses to stay on mismanaging the company through the bankruptcy. Do I think that Spirit has the potential to bounce back? Yes, I do. I don't think it's going to end up you know becoming a defunct airlines where the shares are going to be worth zero i don't think that's going to happen i think they're going to come out of bankruptcy fine but i'm not telling you to buy hold or sell spirit that's if you can even buy hold or sell it anymore because if you didn't have any shares they even changed the symbol it was s-a-v-e now it's s-a-v-e-q and you can only buy it like over the counter at this point the, the bottom line is this the bottom line is this. I don't think that executives who ran a company into the ground should be getting $5.4 in bonuses to mismanage it through the bankruptcy. It's absolutely crazy. And, and that's what happens all the times. The executives at these companies, they never lose. Okay? Look at AMC. AMC shareholders can't see any money. The stock is trading around $4.50 or really $0.45 cent post reverse split. The shareholders don't see any money, but the CEO making $27 million a year. The board making money. Everybody's making money on AMC except for the shareholders. And now the same thing with Spirit. The executives are getting golden parachutes. They're getting bonuses while the shareholders have watched the stock drop to 15 cents. Tell me that is appropriate. Tell me that's fair. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that spirit executives who ran the company into the ground should be getting 5.4 million in bonuses while the stock price drops to 15 cents? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.